What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing tonight? Norberto Tercero, good to see you. So, as the uh, as the title here suggests, we're going to be working on an original mod tonight. As we've done in the past. What's up, Jill? Edgy game. Abdo Jesus Gonzalo Saldana. You're learning topography. I have never been good with anything relating to geography or anything like that. So, uh, as, as many of you know, I've been working on my own mod uh, for Friday Night Funkin', of course. What else? And I've got uh, kind of four songs down, or, or at least three and a half, we'll say. Let's, uh, let's take a listen to some of them. Check it out. Pause. Stream beats there. Uh, so let's take a listen to the ones we have so far. What's up, Alexander? Kathy? You're out. You're leaving now, Kathy. <laughs> We're just getting started, Kathy. Okay. Honk bonk. Beanie boy, what's up? All right. We're going to take a listen to uh, the four songs I have sketched out for this so far. And actually, hang on one second. It's just really bothering me that I can't hear my own voice. And that sounds conceited. <laughs> but really, it's just weird having headphones on and not being able to hear myself. So one second. I think I turned this off the other day while I was rehearsing something. Darling. Paroka. Ilos. How you guys doing? And check one, two. Nope. Why can't I hear myself? Hello. One second. There we go. And I should be a lot clearer in your ears now too, right? Okay. That should be better. <laughs> okay. So let's take a listen to some music. All right. Now that we got that all sorted. Hey, Nemesis. Math RTD, you are exactly right. That's exactly what I was going for. I forgot to shout out in Discord that we were hanging out. Okay, cool. <laughs> so that's a fun one. That's the first song. Uh, like somebody said, Mark Holcomb. Yeah, this is totally uh, a periphery thing, which is why the name is Sideways. That was like the closest word to 
periphery that would make a good song name. I don't know. Hey, thank you so much, Puddles the Molten. You rock. That means so much to me. Thank you for the super chat. Um, <laughs> you remembered? I remembered how my friend and I wanted to create our own mod, but we realized that we were lazy. Yes. <laughs> That's okay. That's understandable. It is a lot to create a mod. The deeper I get into this, the more it seems like there is to it. It's really, it's really something. Thumbnail looks like Among Us. I, I know, I know, but one, I drew this guy like 10 years ago, long before Among Us was a thing. Uh, and two, a couple things. One, the Among Us has uh, legs and my robot has arms. And they are different in that regard. Let's listen to the second song uh, I have. This is a short, short idea. We just kind of sketched this out last time. Um, so let's, let's just see what it sounds like. This does not have a melody yet. Okay, so that's what we got so far. Like I said, no melody yet. Just just riffs. Just a bunch of riffs in a row. That's going to be the second song. It's going to be phase two. Um, uh, and then, uh, to, to give you a, a idea of the concept here, let me... Uh, let me just pull up some artwork I have for him so far. Um, here is... I think this is phase one. Yep. Here's phase one. He's just a happy little robot dude, uh, and he's a he's a little music producer who likes to share his music with people. And boyfriend and girlfriend kind of stumble into his recording studio at home, and he's really excited to show them music. And so they sing the first song sideways together. Uh, here's some animations. There's idle. There's left, right, up, and down. Uh, his name is Gentbot. Degent, like this word. That's the name for this style of music, this, this kind of metal. Um, that's fun. Uh, so, second phase, uh, boyfriend and girlfriend just kind of like, uh, that's fine, I guess. I don't know, it's not that good. And they're, they're just kind of like ragging on his music. Uh, and he gets angrier, of course. And, uh, and we get the, this angrier song. Um, they're still, they're just like, yeah, it just kind of sounds like watered down periphery. I don't know. Um, and of course, this is just me writing, bashing my own music. But uh, And so he gets super angry and, and mutates into this giant exploded... Uh, let me see where I drew him. Come on, Discord. Come on over here. Here we go. Uh, this is like the size of a, a building. He it just explodes into this. I was picturing like the end of Akira almost, where he just like completely explodes out of control. Uh, and they play this song together as he's like exploding and losing control.
Okay, so that is uh, that is the concept for phase three of the songs. Uh, and then phase four, I want to go with this. Uh, let me find this. Don't worry about that. That was that was a sketch I was playing with earlier. Um, that was the final boss from uh, Kirby sixty four, I think. Um, no, uh, this is what I was looking for. Uh, and phase four. Why is he all the way down here? Um, phase four, like that giant thing explodes and lets out this like super, you know perfect version of of him almost like frieza's final stage you know that kind of thing um i did a little quick idle animation of him earlier is it gonna play it crashed my computer before let's see there we go whoop <laughs> can you loop like that and and he's definitely just holding a guitar that i traced off in a bossy lorada because it's the coolest guitar ever uh, and because this song is supposed to be in the style of Tosin Abasi, uh, Animals as Leaders. So, uh, taking a listen to the last song here, uh, this is still very much in sketch form. And this one, they're probably both just going to be playing guitar on. Um, this is this is just going to be a guitar song back and forth. So... Hi, Jacob. Yeah, this is the hard song, because <laughs> it's the last one. Okay, and I rewrote the rest of this one this morning, uh, so we have, we're going to record that today. We're going to fix that part that I rewrote. Uh, so that's phase four, and then there may or may not be a, a phase five with a secret song and stuff that I'll, I'll save for the release, and I'm not going to tell you guys about, but it's going to be fun. So that's what we've got so far. On a scale of one to ten, how hard will it be, Jill? I think song one, Sideways, is going to be like a, like a week two or three kind of level stuff. Really not too hard. Um songs two i haven't written the melody yet so i have no idea uh song three is going to be hard and song four is going to be very hard like tricky territory uh norberto the the bonus song that i'm not saying will i promise be max 300 level stuff <laughs> the bonus is is the hardest rhythm game song of all time and maybe it's a cover we'll see uh feel free to guess in the chat but i won't tell you what cover it'll be <laughs> okay so let's jump into pro tools uh yeah we can save that okay into bro tools norberto you think you know <laughs> release no it's something harder than release waffling um what are we gonna do we're gonna do dog god okay let me open up guitar pro here too I have my tabs. <laughs> Here's the tabs for Dog God. <laughs> no, Berto, it's not necessarily a DDR song. I said the hardest rhythm game song. <laughs> I'm going to give it away. I'm so bad at keeping secrets for myself. What's up, Bandy Whistle? Okay.
Okay, so I added a bit to this one uh, at the end here. This much is all the same. Oh, this won't play while Pro Tools is open, right? Okay, that means I have to play it myself. Okay, and this is where things change, so we're just going to delete. I'll save this as a second version. So someone has gotten it, but I'm not going to say who. <laughs> uh, let me figure out how to play this nonsense that I wrote. There it is. There we go. What's up, little ninja kin? Do I still post on Twitch? Nah, I haven't touched Twitch in a while. I I decided to just like go 100% YouTube. I think that's the riff. Uh, we're just going to bring in the MIDI here. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay, that's fine. And all we really need, these two tracks, we're going to get rid of everything else. Oh, Chin, that's right. So I was trying to remember how to pronounce the Q there. That's right. Little Ninja Chin. How's it going? Okay, so I brought in the sheet music as MIDI here, just for myself to reference. Um, and actually, I can put it down here. There we go. How's it going, Max Squirrel team? <laughs> Sounds like Pac-Man. <laughs> Okay, we are going to do, this is my, my usual little cheat, where I take the MIDI from that, and I just turn it into the kick drum. And voila! We have drums. That is cheating and I love it. I don't mind at all. Okay, let's see if I can get this, see if I can get this right. Have I played Gardic Phone? I don't think so. All right, let's try this. Ah, 
I missed the ending. How's this part go? Ah. No, Craig, uh, this song is called Dog God, which is a play on the name of the band that it's imitating, Animals as Leaders. There we go. We got it. We got it. Let's do the other part. Uh, Natalie, my Spotify name is also longest solo ever. We we're going to quad track this. You know what? Actually, let's do this in octaves. This will sound cool. So I'm gonna play the same part, but up higher. It's gonna it's gonna sound cool. And one more. Cool. Kate Harrison asked, how many guitars do I have? Uh, right here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably another eight or nine in that closet over there. And then a bunch more uh, that I lent to my dad. It's probably in the 20s. No, Craig, there's always a better guitar, and there's always, like, a different guitar. Like, I just bought this one because it is eight strings, so I didn't have an eight-string guitar before. Uh, and it's headless. I never had one that was headless, and I wanted to try it out, but mostly it was the fact that it was an eight-string. Do my hands hurt after I make a video? The only one my hands genuinely hurt after was probably Expurgation. That was an absolute monstrosity. Oh, and Casanova. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Casanova. Casanova hurt me. Um, yeah. Okay, now we're going to get heavier. We'll do the same kick drum trick. Would covers of songs opt for this mod? What do you mean, no, Craig? I'm going to be doing covers of these on my own channel, just for fun. I do not want to cover anything from the lemon thing. I don't like the lemon. <laughs> I don't like it at all. <laughs> yeah, I want to do Genocide from the Tabby Mod. Genocide is a sick song. OK, 
Okay, we'll we'll play with these drums more, I think. I'm just going to keep them simple for now. I know, that's the worst part, is it'd probably be pretty good, but like, I just, the lyrics just creep me out. I just don't like it. Saying hi to Nick from Brick Hill. Uh, how will the icon look? Uh, it's gonna be um, some. I actually had somebody in my Discord draw a really sick one. Uh, let me see. Here we go. Wolfie Patata drew these awesome icons, and I think I'm gonna get their permission to use them in the actual mod because they're so good. They they really fit the style of the game. It's great. Uh, all right, we got another riff to record. This one's a little heavier. I need this one slower, I think. And I just need to look at the part while I play it. Where am I? There we are. Sabotage and Sus Sus Moon Gus. Is that from the is that from the imposter mod? I haven't played that one yet. <laughs> the page turn got me. Here we're gonna move to scrolling playback. And try that again. Ah. So close. Cool. Do our next part. Have I played the Stair Crown mod? No, I, I watched through a playthrough of it today, though. It looks wild. I don't think it got deleted. I think the new one came out this weekend, along with the, the Carol date mod. Cool. Do it up again. And one more. Oh, thanks, Aurora. You hit your head while you were sleeping. I'm sorry. That doesn't sound fun. Norberto, I don't know if I will. <laughs> there's, there's more parts. Okay, so here's a whole new section. This, this whole song is really heavily inspired by a song called uh, Cascade by Animals as Leaders, which goes like this. It's it's freaking sick. Oh, I lost it already. I, I was practicing a lot a few weeks ago. It, it, I can't play it. I mean, if you watch a few streams ago, I could play it. <laughs> uh, and there's this middle section that's really clean and, and floaty and just sounds sick. Uh, so we're gonna add like kind of a synthy clean middle section where I think 
There's no good way to lean that guitar. I think Jempbot and Boyfriend are actually going to sing in the middle section, uh, but it's going to be almost like an improvised lead guitar solo kind of thing. Bandy Whistle, what's my what's the hardest part to play for a video? It was um, either all of uh, all of uh, expurgation, but more likely that middle part for ca uh, Casanova. That thing. Is there a way to make the music say Jempbot's name? Yeah, yeah, we could use like a vocoder or something like that. So hang on. Zap Crafty, I want to talk about this because I've seen a few chat posts of yours. Um, can I have a shout out? I need subscribers. Thank you so much uh, that you're, big, you're my biggest fan. You love my Friday Night Funkin' covers. Thank you. I have advice for you as a YouTuber. Shout outs don't help anybody. Like I could get a shout out right now from, uh, you know, a, a guy with 10 times my uh, my subs. Actually, I was on a collab with Family Jewels, who has five times my subs, and I got like no subs from that. <laughs> so collabs, shout outs, they, they don't help as much as you think, especially shout outs, um, especially because nobody knows why they should subscribe to your channel. The best way for you to grow on YouTube is to make amazing videos that show people why they should subscribe. And then YouTube will just show your video to more people. YouTube will promote you for you. You don't have to go and ask for shout outs from people because YouTube will do a better job of it uh, than, than you ever could. Jacob, yes, I've seen the Sky Mod, although I know it's not really available anymore, right? I know there was some drama there. There's been a lot of drama in the Friday Night Funkin' community lately, and it worries me because I'm, I'm a pretty drama-free person. I hope there's no drama around mine. I don't think, I don't see any reason there would be. Oh, thanks, Bandy Whistle. I am, I am just thankful for the amount of subs I got. I can't believe it. I was at 20,000 subs like a few months ago. And then just starting with the Friday Night Funkin' covers. Did so much for me. I can't believe it. Uh, we're going to make this into a floaty pad sound. <laughs> what was that sound? How's it going, Jeremy? Ooh, the Ganon boss battle from Ocarina of Time. Yes. I hadn't even thought of that. Uh, let me show you the, the kind of clean guitar sound I had in mind for this. I think I was going to use... I mean, let's try. Let's try the Tosin Abasi amp first, right? Can I make this smaller? Medium? There we go. Okay, so here's his nice clean amp sound. And I just need to find... The clean guitar part that I wrote. There we go. Aw, oh, thanks, Killjoy. How's it going, Beige Caribou? Is this another character in my mod? Uh, yeah. No, well, I mean, this is an amp. That's not... I, I might put it in the background somewhere, but that's not a character. Uh, no, this is, this is a... This is a song for... <laughs> phase four of my uh, my main character, Gentbot. Uh, and I have to figure out how to play the chords I wrote for this. Uh-oh. <laughs> there we go. Uh, one Henry, this is this is the uh, the first song we're working on tonight. This is the phase four song. This is the fourth song in the mod. There we go. Okay, let's make this sound really floaty now. Uh, so we've got his uh, reverb pedal here. That's cool. I wanted a little more shimmer on it. 
Let's use micro shift. Equinox, yeah. What's your what's your method? There we go. Let's play with some of these. I have switches on here that I never use. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, now I wrote chords here that may or may not be physically impossible to play on a guitar. I don't know, I didn't have a guitar in my hand when I wrote them. This first one's proving doable, I think. There's that. Equinox, uh, tutorial from Nix the Shield. Cool. I found one from BB Panzu that I really like. I love, uh, I've been using BB Panzu and Brightfire's videos so much, um, while working on this mod. They're so, both such incredibly helpful people. I'm so thankful. I'm hanging out in Brightfire's server now, trying to learn a lot, too. Oh, you got an Akai Mini? Nice! Very nice, Zap Crafty. That's awesome. Okay, this next one... Same chord, but different place. That's good. Okay, these are gonna sound weird, I know. That one's less weird. That's cool. Oh, that's not what I wanted, though. There we go. So what was this, then? Oh! There we go. Okay, so we got... Okay, those are playable. Those aren't that bad. Let's try this out. Oh, it would help if I actually played. I got the timing right on that too, cool. I had really weird timing in mind for this. Thanks so much, Ryan Shadow. And then I had a clean guitar under this as well. And it was basically going to be the part from the beginning, except it was not going to switch notes. Here we go. Bandy Whistle, what's my favorite color? Funny you ask, I'm colorblind. <laughs> That's the main part there. Uh, Tercero, this is all in 4-4, believe it or not. And yeah, Tercero, uh, unfortunately, he's right. Uh, my favorite color is probably red, uh, judging by my logo and, and everything, uh, which is a real bummer because it's the one I can't see. <laughs> and Super Genesis, yes, it's in Toast and Time. Yeah, this is 4-4. Check it out. Uh, let me take you to the beginning riff so you can really see it. Okay, so here is... It's going to blow your mind. Okay. Here's the main riff. It's four bars. See if you can count it while we go. One, e, and a two, e, and a three. Here we go. It would help if I started on the right note, though. One second. One, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I can't count and play that at the same time. But. Bandy Whistle. Uh, yeah, you can absolutely make all the fan art you want. I would love that. That'd be awesome. Uh, if you want to show it to me, you can either tweet it at me on uh, Twitter, at Longest Solo Ever, or just stop by the Discord anytime and drop it in there. We uh, we have a lot of fun drawing stuff. It's a, it's a cool place. Omar Castro, I do not know how to speak Spanish. I'm working on it. I, I want to learn Spanish and Portuguese, because so much of my audience speaks Spanish and Portuguese. 
Uh, Zach, there's going to be four phases and maybe a secret one. Thanks, Zap Crafty. Tercera, believe it or not, if you listen to a lot of Animals as Leader stuff, it's almost all in 4-4. It's just like really heavily messed up 4-4. And it's brilliant. Tosin Abasi is a genius. Tosin Abasi and... Uh, this is, this is a total out there suggestion. A guy named Tigran Hamasian, uh, who's an amazing uh, piano player as well. Uh, Melvin, can I describe the background? You mean like the, the concept of the mod? Or my actual background, which is just skid and pump. But you can't see that right now, I don't think. <laughs> I thought I knew Italian, and then I met some actual Italians and could not speak as well as I thought. <laughs> Okay, let me let me learn this new version of this thing that I wrote. Okay. We're going to record this a little bit slowed down cuz I'm I literally wrote it like an hour ago. Oops, can't do that yet. Have to do this first. Oh, wallpaper reveal. It's literally, it's, you can see it in the background of my, uh, my Spookies cover. It's just Skid and Pump standing there. Okay, that's the part. You can see how much concentration that took. Cool. Okay, we got this loop that I throw in here as well. Hey, Beanie Boy, you have a guitar lesson? Awesome, have fun. Oh, Super Genesis. I got through like 10 levels of, of Duolingo in Japanese and got felt like I got nowhere. I was not remotely close to understanding that incredible language. Who ate the rat? Will there be an ending for the mod? Yes, eventually. <laughs> have a good night, Looney Alchemist. I think I just want, like, maybe just one low F sharp here. I don't know what this is going to be. What's the story of Gentbot? He is, he's a, uh, he's, he's me. <laughs> no, he's a, he's a dorky little home music producer, uh, who has a, a home recording studio where he makes metal music and, uh, boyfriend and girlfriend crash land in his recording studio. Here's the icon. And he, uh, he wants to show them some of his songs. So he plays them a song and they're like, yeah, it's okay. I don't know. We're going to go. And he gets, like, really angry at this. He's very sensitive about his music, oversensitive, and he's kind of a jerk, to be honest. <laughs> and, he, and he gets really angry. They play another song, and they, like, really just bash his music, say it sounds like watered-down periphery. I don't know. I'll think of some great insults for my own music. And then he um, he goes and uh, he transforms into this giant monster robot. They fight one more time. He explodes. There's, like, a, a super... Uh, perfect form like this that they fight uh 
And then that's the ending, unless you're playing on, like, insane difficulty, and then there's one more phase that I won't talk about. Uh, the mod's gonna come out end of August, I think. Will there be voice line? Yeah, I'm I'm planning fully animated cutscenes and everything. Is Genbot a metaphor for my inner side? Yeah, absolutely. Genbot is the part of me that wants to show everybody every song I write, every stupid little piece of garbage, and uh, it, it gets really mad when they don't like it. <laughs> uh, you hope this mod isn't so hard it will be unbeatable? No, I... So I'm a longtime player of rhythm games. Like I played DDR for years. I played Guitar Hero for years. I I believe in like playable hard things. So it's going to be hard, but it's going to be playable. The chart will make sense. I'm like, I, I most, I'm going to take this chart more seriously than I take anything else in this process. <laughs> this part, I don't know why this baseline is proving so hard. Let me get it without this part in there first. Thanks, Tercero. I wonder if I can just grab this part. Use it as kind of a starting point. This will make sense, I promise. Will Jumpbot have music coming out of him? I think he's just gonna kind of project the music forth. He's he's got speakers built in, he's okay. <laughs> What's up, super cool guy? What day will the mod come out? I'm thinking last week of August. Anybody, anybody watch the Dune trailer that came out today? Looks sick. Uh, his songs are all going to be about two minutes long. Okay, we're going to do our usual turn the bass into a kick drum part. A nice sick hi hat groove going here. And 
The mods coming out on Game Banana? Yeah, as soon as I... I assume that's like the place for mods to come out, right? That seems like where they all are. Yes, I'm doing it all myself, Equinox. Okay. Now things get wilder. Let's just listen to that so far. So I kind of lost track of... The whole thing. Will I be a cartoon in the back of the studio? I was thinking about putting, if anybody draws fan art, uh, sticking that in the back or something. And here's where it gets heavy. I have a dog or a pet? I have a cat. <laughs> He's a goofy little doofus. No whiskey today? I, no, I'm having a white claw. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I had a guitar pick. Where'd it go? Uh-oh. Oh. Right there. Right in front of me. Graydon Hillier, how was my day? Uh, it was good. I had a good day. Not too much going on at work. I have a quick little gig with my wife tomorrow. That's gonna be fun. Playing at a restaurant. Playing some tunes. My guitar pick did go to another dimension. Is Ballistic hard to master? I've never played, uh, that's the witty mod, right? May it rest in peace. Uh, I've never played that one. How will I feel if somebody covers the mod? I will be, uh, impressed, honestly, because I think I'm making it hard to play. <laughs> this is, this is the first, like, I don't know, are there other, are there other, like, metal mods? Are there other guitar-based mods? Because I feel like I'm kind of, probably kind of alone in that one, right? Where's the other? Why am I hearing guitar? Oh, that one. Okay, there we go. The Sunday? Oh yeah, Sunday, of course. Yeah, this is this is the only like uh, uh, technical metal thing. Although Sunday, that solo in Marks was crazy. Sunday mod does slap. I agree. That that really. That took a lot to learn that guitar solo. Um, let's see. Oh, did I accidentally just open Ableton Live? No! Go away. Okay, this part. Yeah, I did. Close. Go away. Be gone. Good day, sir. Thank you. All right, let's see if I can figure out how on earth to play these chords. <laughs> Why? Will Gentbot's final song be outside of the studio? Yeah, so first two songs are in the studio. Second song is uh, he explodes into a giant robot and destroys like half a city block and it's fighting like at the top of that giant robot. And then, um, and then the last song is taking place kind of in the, the general area in the sky almost. They're, they might both be flying, I don't know.
slowly assembling these chords, seeing if they're even playable. Ooh, that is playable. I like it. Yeah, I think Girlfriend, I was thinking um, Demon Wings. That's cool. I hadn't thought about that. I like that, Norberto. Thank you. Um, I, I was thinking she almost, and I hate to say it, I'm ripping off the Shaggy mod. Maybe I will do the Demon Wings because I was picturing her like levitating them on a, on a rock or something up there. Uh, am I also programming? Yes, I think. I hope. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so we got we got our chords. I'm gonna record them one at a time very slowly, because holy cow. Uh, and do I have this part in here? I think so. Yeah, there it is. What do I do if a famous YouTuber plays the mod? I will freak out. Thanks, Graydon. Okay, what was the first chord here again? Seven, nine, five, eight. Why? Why would I do this to myself? Look at... Just look at this chord, people. That can't be good for me. <laughs> would have shading like hex? I don't know if I know what you're talking about, who ate the rat. Alright, see you later, Bandy Whistle. Ryan, you'd like to hear my backstory? I'm a musician. I don't know. I sit here, I play music from video games, and I found Friday Night Funkin', and then I got a lot more subscribers. <laughs> and that's that's my story. That's most of it. We're going to do this slow, because, again, I'm still in just the sketching stage. Uh, I'm fine with tracking stuff slow while I'm just sketching it out, and then doing it for real at full speed later. In the last phase, is it raining? Yes, absolutely. Why, is that stereotypical? Oh, I need click track. Okay, time to get into position for the next chord. <laughs> I think this was this one. Yep. What's up, Smiles? That's this one. And that's this one. Do is do that again exactly the same way.
Yes! Beautiful. I should cover Tricky. That'd be fun, Iver. What put characters from other mods in the background? No, I, I want I want this to uh, to be its own story. I, I don't want to use other other characters without the creator's permission. Thoughts on changing the arrow icons? Oh, I'm going to do some wild uh, stuff um, uh, with, with the arrows and the mod charts. I, I got plans for that. Uh, Serenity is going to turn into a demon. He turns into kind of, I've been calling it like an energy demon. Um, I'll show you. For the last one, he, he transforms into this like energy demon robot. Perfect Frieza kind of form. That's what I had pictured. Oh, thanks, Iver. That was an accident, but I actually liked those first two chords. Okay. Yeah, can somebody explain to me what Snokido is? Because I, I don't actually know. I've only ever seen mods on Game Banana. Is that like a web-based thing for it? I, I'm a total noob to this. <laughs> I'm absolutely no concept what anything is. Yeah, I'll definitely do Madness at some point. Snoky does a flash game platform. Somebody put a lot of fire. Awesome. Yeah. If I can, uh, if I can export to an HTML5 uh, uh, file type to put on there, I will absolutely put it on Snoky Do for you. Totally. 
Favorite Friday Night Funkin' mod? Uh, musically, it's Mid-Fight Masses. Uh, and, oh, God, I hate to say it. You asked me this last week, it would have been a goatee. Now it's not. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to Entity, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm psyched about Solazar. And I like Aldrix so far, too. I don't mind. Uh, somebody asked, do you get paid if your mod gets played? Not that I know of. Um, though the way, uh, the one thing, there is a lot of money on mods in the music. Uh, if you get streamed on Spotify, you will make good money. Um, for example, Mike Gino has probably made, uh, 50 to $80,000 off of the mid fight masses music alone. Um, so there's, there's money in mods. So, Norberto, the thing is, uh, and I've always, I've always said this, Spotify pays really well. Um, Spotify actually pays me about 10 times what YouTube does per play. Uh, I, I make way more uh, per play on Spotify than I do on YouTube. YouTube pays me about 60 cents per 1,000 plays. Spotify pays about $6. Uh, so it's, it's really good. Spotify is great. People complain about it. Um, because they see really tiny numbers per play, but they don't know that that's just how like getting paid on the internet works. You work in thousands because it, it's it's such a quick. Uh, uh, the way I put it is, people say, "Oh, if I got ten thousand sales on iTunes, I would have made ten thousand dollars." But on Spotify, I make like ten bucks. But if you think about the number of times your song would actually get played in that person's library after they bought it, it's it's hundreds, it's thousands. So. It works out to the same amount of money over the number of times that person plays it on average. Uh, I think Spotify has been a net positive for musicians. I think it's fantastic that anybody can put their music out there and have it get listened to. Uh, it's it's good. So, uh, Rage Dude, how hard is it to work on? How hard is it to make a mod? Very. I'm having a hard time. <laughs> I'm still stuck on the music. All right, let's listen to this whole new section. See how it feels. Here's coming out of the last part. Um, Is that? Okay, I'm feeling us getting back to the midsection. This part here. Actually, that's a weird transition. Let's go back to this part.
And then I'm feeling us going really back to the beginning. I think. This is the longest song uh, up to this point. There should be a drop before the transition. Yeah, you're right. There we go. Choke symbol. So Serenity, I here's the thing. I think this might be a mostly uh, guitar song, like like uh, like the solo in Marks was. Like how it would switch to like guitar hero mode. I think this whole song might be that. Just because this song is like so crazy guitar part. I could have boyfriends sing this part, but I really I was picturing just like flurry of notes when you hear this. That's what I had in mind. Bandy whistle. We we added this middle section here, this clean part you're going to hear in a minute. All right, let's listen through what we have here. We spent about an hour on this, and I'd like to move on to something new, I think. Uh, let's take a listen to this one. How's it going, honeybees? All right. Uh, I'm putting on the It Gets Loud Now button. Fair warning. It gets loud now. Watch your ears. Check your volume levels. This is your, this is your heads up. Will boyfriend be sweating when he goes against the final form? Maybe. Probably. He's going to be scary. Okay. It's getting loud now. This is the end of the song right here. Yeah, I think it's going to end there. Uh, so two and a half minutes. That's that's a good length for me. Hey, have a good night, CJ Divine. All right, good. I feel great about where this is at. I might play with the timing on this these chords and this bass part I'm not crazy about. We'll come back to that. Uh, let's check out uh, Sideways and Gentbot are in such good shape. I'm so happy with them. Let's check out... Uh, this one. Uh, okay, this is a fun place to drop this. There's only 80 of you here, so this won't spoil it for too many people. Um, so, Lever, uh, I'm covering Pico this weekend with my friends Lame Genie. 
uh, who's an amazing, amazing video game metal cover band. Uh, they produced the whole track. It's it's going to be so sick. It's coming out on Saturday. Uh, the, the premiere for that will be posted up tomorrow, though. And if you want to watch it early, you can join my Patreon. Uh, what will be the mod's name? Uh, oops. <laughs> what did I just do? <laughs> um. Oh, my God. I just want to open Notepad. The mod's name is going to be called Versus Gent Butt. That's the name. Why did I lose my bass part? There it is. Uh, Serenity, five songs. Valentina, yes, I have boyfriend voice for two of the songs done already. I have full vocals finished and everything. Uh, you can, I did play them earlier in the stream, or you could just hop into the uh, the Gentbot the Gentbot music channel in my Discord, uh, and you can you can take a listen to the two that I posted today. You can hear a little bit. So that's going to be fun. Uh, and then Crazy is the other song. So take a listen to those. Uh, or like I said earlier in the stream as well. You can always pop back there and check it out. Uh, we have no boyfriend vocals for this one yet, but there will be. I'm going to come up with something for this. I don't know if we're going to do it tonight, but I want to sketch out kind of the rest of the structure of this song. Oh, thanks, Rage Dude. Okay, so I have kind of three sections so far. Uh, we'll call this verse one, verse two. Here's our chorus. This is kind of a bridge, it takes it somewhere else. So I'm thinking we play those chords, but on a clean guitar, and we do kind of a, like a stripped down version of the part there. I think this will be, this will be kind of cool. If I knew what chords those were. That is, I'm still getting used to having an eight string guitar. That's a B minor. I still don't know how to play an eight string guitar. I've just been faking my way through it this whole time. Go with the Pliny amp sim this time. You hear these chords again. What 
chord is that? F. Will there be a secret song? There is a secret song, and he is all kinds of messed up for it. It's the secret song goes wild places. Trust me. I have. I don't, it might just be making be coming up with absolute nonsense, but I think the secret song is going to be cool. Bandy whistle. You put whatever you want on it. It's your drawing, man. You're all good. How long is the live stream? We usually go uh, for three hours, so it's it'll be till. Uh, it's 8.30 at my time now. It'll be till 10 p.m., so another hour and a half. Um. Okay, I think that'll work. Let's try this. Next chord on its own. <laughs> Unless it's supposed to be major. Yeah, I think it might be. Chord hurts. <laughs> Got another pretzel hand chord here for you. I'm never going to be able to remember this. Okay. Thoughts on making a drop from a goatee? I'm not trying to think about anything about a goatee right now. <laughs> it's not a good time be doing anything like a goatee uh but that drop is sick i hate to say it. <laughs> bad chord it was a bad chord <laughs> uh now i'm gonna make up different voicings for those same chords and let's see how it sounds bad Oh, that's what I did wrong. There we go. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, there will be a lot of polishing off camera, don't worry.
Yeah, these songs change a lot in between streams. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we got some chords. They all kind of fit together. And then the real chorus hits again after that. Uh, his animation, yeah, it's gonna change a lot, his animation. What's his role in the story? He's uh, he's the antagonist, uh, and he is he's a friendly, at first, uh, robot who likes to produce metal music and show it off to people. But when they don't like it, he gets really angry. That's it. That's that's the entirety of the concept I have, to be honest. Have a good night, Kazuki. Solo, you can uh, you can post it in either Gentbot Art or in Showcase, wherever you want to put it. I'll show it on stream if you want. It's sounding pretty good. Oh, nice. Bucket Boy, is, uh, is that you, Bandy Whistle? <laughs> Smashing his guitar when he gets angry. Love it. Have a good night, Royal. Or no, sorry, Louis, you're going. Have a good one. Have a good class. Oh, it's not you, Bandy Whistle? Well, Bucket Boy, you did a good job. I want to see yours, Bandy Whistle. Oh, there it is. Oh, I love this. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, Bandy Whistle. I love it. That's so good. Nice little signature, too. That's great. That's so funny. I don't even realize what shirt I'm wearing. I was like, oh, that's a cool shirt. Oh. <laughs> that's great. I love it. Thank you so much, Bandy Whistle. That's so good. Yeah, I'll definitely put that in the background. Yeah, he's gonna transform. Have a good night, Rage Dude.
All right, that feels like a good place to end that. We're at 140. That's a good. That's a good length of a song. One minute forty. I feel like most Friday Night Funkin' tunes are in that two minute range. You make one drawing per stream. That's amazing, Bandy Whistle. I can barely manage one drawing like a week. I guess that is one drawing a week. <laughs> Still. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's try some vocals, eh? Oh, I said a, not Canadian. Uh, let's pull in. I'm gonna pull in the vocal setups I did for Sideways. Here's Boyfriend. Here's Gentbot. What's up, Future Zudini? I'm actually really good at math. I'm just not good at thinking. <laughs> So here's my Gentbot instrument. This is made in Serum, which is crashing now. That's cool. So we have voices. Let's get them some echo. So echo makes it just like sit a little bit better. Yeah, I'm definitely adding voice dialogue. Um, I think I'm gonna voice everybody but girlfriend. Oh, thanks, Valentina. I hope so. That would that would be really really cool if this got this got any level of pop or any level of popularity I'd be absolutely thrilled. Is boyfriend gonna beep in the cutscenes? I'm I'm still deciding honestly. Uh, I don't know. I can't decide if I want to voice him like in the Sunday mod or just have him beep. I I'm not sure. Gentbot's definitely gonna speak like English words though. Thanks, Bandy Whistle. I hope so, too. All right, so I, I'm whenever I'm writing something, whenever I'm, like, trying to be creative and write a, a melody, I like to slow things down so I can just, like, think faster. Um, I think this is an F sharp. Okay. Getting lyrics. Good luck singing some of these lines. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like try some melodies just off the top of my head. We'll see what happens. And then what I do is I literally just copy it over to Boyfriend. I don't know. Tercero, basically. <laughs> okay, so no, I'm, I'm deciding I was in the wrong scale, actually. This needs to be in uh, F-sharp Phrygian is the scale we're using for this. So, <laughs> that if that helps you. <laughs>
I'm just gonna noodle and see what happens. <laughs> nope. This isn't going anywhere good. There might have been some good stuff in there, but I don't know. All right, I'm going to compose a chorus and maybe we'll work backwards from there. Here's our chorus. <laughs> I do not, I do not want to, uh, I don't like low Korean that much. <laughs> I don't know what I have in mind here, but. What's happening here? Something happening with the pitch bend. That's what it is. Those are bad words, bad notes. <laughs> actually came out kind of cool. This isn't going to be like a hard song yet. This is only the second time. This is only the second song. You're making another drawing band to whistle? Thank you. All right, let's see if this even sounds kind of good at full speed. I don't know. Friends, a counter tenor. He is. He's a freaking alto man. I wish I had boyfriend's range.
okay, this isn't, uh, this isn't as bad as I was thinking. I mean, I just need to hear this a couple more times, and I need to do something to level out these guitar parts. One second. Dream Theater inspired. Yeah, thank you. I can I can see that. <laughs> this is one I'm I'm honestly really uncomfortable writing a melody on because it doesn't. When I write a melody, I hook onto the chords that are playing, and for this whole first half, there's no chords. It's just like riffs everywhere, and it's chromatic. And usually, you just have screaming in a metal song like this at the, on the over this kind of riff. But I already did the screaming thing in Sideways, and I just wanted like. I just wanted a. Uh, uh, more melody here. More traditional Friday Night Funkin' stuff. Thank you so much, Barry Nutcrunch. That means a lot. Try boyfriend's voice down an octave? Maybe. Let's see, here's where he starts getting really out of control, right? Let's see this part down. Yeah, that's good. Does it any? Oh, I think the name of the song is Does It, by the way, <laughs> which is a meme known only to people on the uh, on the, the gent shitposting Facebook group. <laughs> Bendy was what's my favorite food? It's probably um, it's probably uh, like Chinese food, chicken, like gar General, General So's. That's probably it. Uh, okay, so I've been doing this thing where if sometimes boyfriend starts the second verse, I did it in crazy. Yeah, Terry Sarah, that's the that's the that's the meme. <laughs> it's the stupidest stupidest meme. I I hate it, <laughs> but but I have to include it somewhere, so it's it's getting a song name. Uh, so I think boyfriend's gonna start this second verse here. And he's gonna, this is gonna get fast, I think. So I'm gonna write this slow. Uh, now this moves to B minor. <laughs> Hang on. Chorus of boyfriends. <laughs> oh yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to cover some Annie. Atsuover is so good. Uh, I've just been enjoying her channel so much. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just ask, like, so, so did it? I'm picturing his voice, by the way, as being, like, kind of a, a cybernetic uh, Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls. So he's gonna, he's gonna have a high, 
kind of insane voice like this. Stan Pines! That kind of thing. Um, but it'll be like, uh, vocaloided. I don't know. So that's what I have in mind for his voice. A little bit of that, a little bit of claptrap from, uh, um, Borderlands. I don't know. We'll see. What's up, Fabelin? I know I got really high with Boyfriend there, but I, I I just felt the melody going there. I'm gonna mess with his voice more to uh, to make things fit a bit better. What's up, Tank Man? Your week is my favorite week in Friday Night Funkin'. Oh, by the way, I'm totally planning bonus weeks for this game where uh, Boyfriend and Gentbot, like Gentbot like chills out and invites Boyfriend back to his studio to help him record some covers. And they just record covers of other Friday Night Funkin' songs, and I use my metal covers as the background for them. <laughs> I think that would be fun. So just like doing all of week seven, but it's Gentbot and Boyfriend, and it's my metal covers in the background. I think that'd be fun. That's my silly idea. Cool. Something I want to fix. Here they're going to quietly sing the chorus together. And now they just go off. No, it's got to go faster. Guitar's too loud. I hate when I make a mistake and I can hear just endless echoes.
yeah, there's absolutely going to be harmony there. I was just getting, uh, getting like a basic idea down. Don't worry. Don't worry, I got harmonies in mind. I was doing really good at guessing the notes up till that point. <laughs> okay. There's so much feedback on that echo. There we go. Okay. Let's see if that's, like, even fun to listen to. Let's take the whole thing. Oh, hang on. We got, we got fan art. Thanks, Tercero. You like my song? <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club. Love it. Yeah. He, he doesn't get as dark as Monica does. He doesn't go that far. He's still, like, always in the interest of, like, having fun and making friends. He's just really, really bad at it, and it comes across as really antagonistic. Yeah, girlfriend will probably be pretty scared at some points. That it is, Sand Shark. We got some tabby art from John here. Very cool. Boyfriend having a rough night. Very cool. goofed up some of these lines. Okay. Hey, all right. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that came out pretty sick. Uh, so that is, man, is that is that like four songs done? Is that like actually four songs done? Wow. I think we just like almost finished the music for this mod. That's insane. Okay, let's, uh, so let's listen through this mod. Get like the whole thing, uh, going in our heads. This is really exciting for me. Sorry. I'm freaking out. There's a moth in here or a little bug. Go away. Um, okay. I'm excited. Sorry, I'm freaking out. <laughs> so, okay. Let's go through one song at a time. Here's the first song, Sideways. This is when he's still pretty chill. He's just happy to show somebody his new song. Uh, and here it is.
Yeah, so that's song one. Someone asked how I got the screams in there. Let me show you, because this is fun. Uh, what's that song called? Sideways. <laughs> well, that's loading bandy whistle. I love this. My fingers hurts. That's me playing Casanova. <laughs> That was really good. I'll show that for a bit longer. I didn't get to show that long. That's really good. I love it. That's great. <laughs> that guitar is cool, too. I like this finish on it. Okay. Uh, so here's the session for Sideways, and here's the screams. These are... Um, Those are actually my screams from, uh, if you guys remember, I covered uh, Kingslayer a while ago from, uh, from Bring Me the Horizon. And let me see if I can find the vocals I made for it. Should have the original in here somewhere still. Bad words incoming, just so you know. <laughs> Get the fuck up! Wipe the fuck up! Wipe the system and back the fuck up! So those are my screams from the Kingslayer cover. And uh, if you haven't watched that, I had fun with that. It was me covering Kingslayer from Bring Me the Horizon with uh, Hatsune Miku singing uh, Baby Metal's part. That was really fun. I had a blast with that. So I cut that into uh, just a bunch of little pieces. And then I did a few things to him. Um, this makes them kind of lo-fi sounding. This shifts up the frequency a bit. Which is the same way you make Pico's voice. Uh, then this shifts it up even further a little bit. And then this distorts it. And then Boyfriends is the same idea, but I pitch shifted it way up to sound like a little kid screaming. So I had fun with that. That's how I made the screams. Thanks for asking. Um, okay, back to... Uh, now we have our second song which we just heard a bunch, but I, I just want to hear it one more time. <laughs> That's not what I meant to play. <laughs> That's nice, though. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, here's uh, song number two. This is called Does It. Hang on, I didn't press the louder button. It's going to get louder, just so you know.
Yeah, so that's kind of fun. Be fun. Yeah, darker. I put boyfriend first on a couple songs in like one verse. Uh, that's fun. Hey, Brian, what's up? How you doing? I literally just accidentally played our Animal Crossing cover on here for a second. Everybody said it sounded like a Rickroll from an alternate universe when I accidentally played that. It was good. Um, here's song number three. This is when he gets really angry and he explodes into a giant robot monster thing. Real original. Just crazy and then finally uh somebody asked why he gets angry he gets angry because um he uh boyfriend doesn't like the music he makes <laughs> and he's really sensitive about it uh and then so he transforms into a giant robot plays that song we just heard they fight in the sky and um and then that giant robot explodes and the energy core from that robot uh turns into like this if you picture like a robotic version of frieza's final form Looks like this. That's what I'm picturing. Um, and then they play one last song. And this is all guitar. There are going to be no vocals in this, but you'll be playing the guitar part, sort of like the Sunday mod, uh, the middle of Mark's. Uh, you're going to play Sunday. Yeah, the screen's going to get dark. It's going to be raining, and crazy lightning and stuff. Um, and I'll show you some animations I'm working on for him in a minute. I have no idea what I'm saying either, Goldfire. Frankly, I'm just spouting uh, the nonsense that's in my head all the time. <laughs> so here's uh, here's the final song. And this is like just going to be a nonstop flurry of notes. It's going to be playable, but um, but it's going to be intense. Uh, thanks, Barry Nutcrutch. My music's not for everybody. I wouldn't be that mad if somebody didn't like my music. But Jetbot would be mad. This little robot dude would. <laughs> that's his whole thing. Here we go. I think I'm going to do the mapping, Brian.
And that's the last song of the mod. There might be a secret phase I'm not talking about, but <laughs> that's the last actual song for the mod. Um, so yeah, that's it. I feel really good about that. And I have two of the phases uh, sketched out. Incendium, I think I'm going with Dog God for this one. I appreciate your suggestion, though. I remember it. It was cool. Um, so... Let's jump over now to Adobe Animate. Let's save that. Why is Ableton Live open again? <laughs> How did that happen? Okay. Somebody asked for a wallpaper reveal earlier. It's Skin Pump. Hello. They were back there during the Spookies music video cover I did. Hey, Puddles the Molten, thank you so much. Thank you. You're the best. Uh, so I was playing around with Adobe Animate, which is uh, the software that most people use to do visuals uh, for this game. And uh, here's phase four. Here's that drawing I did. And there we go. There's his, well, <laughs> didn't loop. So there's his idle animation. He's got this this electricity pulsing through him, holding them together, kind of. Um, he looks like a nice fellow. He's, he's, he's like kind of beyond all human comprehension at this point and just like playing insane guitar parts. Uh, so let's do, let's do a little bit of animation for him, maybe. Uh, I already animated all of... Let's see, we can pull up... Is it? No, that's the first one. This was my original draft for him. Um, and it's cute, but it's not quite. It's not quite right. So where? Here we go. Here we go. Here's my second design for him. You can see between the first two, between the first design and the second, I changed a couple things. Um, his body uh, has a, a lot more detail on him now. I got these kind of panels on him and these little screws, these little rivets or whatever they are. <laughs> Uh, his antenna is a little more floppy now, but I think it's it's just more fun looking. And this is actually, this is an element that uh, somebody did in fan art early on in the Discord, uh, and I, I really liked it. I will be crediting everybody who uh, gave me any kind of inspiration from fan art or participated in any of the discussion on the Discord. You'll all get a shout out in the mod, don't worry. Uh, he also went from having just these one part, like wrench arms, to two part arms like this. And let's check out some of his animations. Here's his idle. He just kind of weebles back and forth. And he's going to be floating a little bit. Um, and he's headbanging. He's having fun. Headbanging to the music. Yeah, he's definitely going to have phases. Uh, and then, then his other animations are fun. Here's his down. <laughs> I always think he looks like... Um, he looks like Robo Crabs. <laughs> saying, ravioli, ravioli, give me the formuli. <laughs> On this one. I think it's funny. I think it's funny that his eye moves to the top of his head on this one too. Like compared with his idol, it's in a normal place, but here it's just like up at the top of his head, and I think that's hilarious. Uh similarly for his up animation, it kind of moves down on him a little bit. It's not like he's not obeying actual physical rules. He's a cartoon. He's supposed to like do silly things. Uh here's his left. He's kind of about to fall over. He's always like he's not a, a a graceful robot. He's always like about to fall over. Here's him kind of weebling on this side. This is Adobe Animate. I know, Jetbot looks like the giant plankton bot. I know. I didn't have that in mind, but that probably influenced me on some subconscious level as I've been watching SpongeBob for literally forever. Uh, and here's phase four when he, he becomes like, you know, perfect Gentbot. Uh, this is a lot more smooth animation, but he's really just floating. I just took the individual pieces of him, which I have kind of uh, split out here. You can see here's his body. Um, here's his elbows, his head, his guitar. And they're all just kind of floating at their own pace. So he just kind of... He just kind of floats there. He's creepy. I like it. 
So let's do a... Let's make a new animation for this one. Let's make his right animation. Minus Jetbot? He does look like, like a Minus Jetbot. <laughs> so I'm going to clear all these keyframes. And we are going to... Uh, let's turn off the lightning layers for a second. And just give him kind of a new position. He's going to lean forward a little bit. What do you think? He's He's got... Oh, thanks, monkey. I, that would be amazing. <laughs> if I only put the elbows, he looks like a me. <laughs> Wait, let's do that. Let's do that. Take away the guitar and the hands. Now he's a me. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Um, not his head. Keep that. Make him dab. <laughs> Go check Demp Art. It's how you see phase four. Let me see. <laughs> oh, Jelly Bean Bot is evolving? Wow, your Jelly Bean Bot evolved into Terminator. Yeah, basically. Basically, that's what's happening. <laughs> that's great. Thank you. Thank you, Nemesis. So he, he's sitting here with his guitar. I think he's going to lean in a little bit. So we'll say, oh, I want to do this in. Oh, shoot. Okay. My bad. I swap these. Looks like a cinnamon roll, but can kill you. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so I think his head and his body are going to lean in a bit. Like this. But his head's going to lean back when he does that. Now his hands and the guitar generally move as one, I think. So his guitar is going to lean up and forward, and his elbows just kind of come in to meet him there. For the up, I should have the guitar behind his head? That's a crazy idea. <laughs> yeah, Logan, I saw the witty mod got deleted. There's been a lot going on in the, in the FNM world this week. Man. Yes, Norberto using Adobe Animate. I grew up using uh, Macromedia Flash which then became Adobe Flash, which then when Flash got discontinued became Adobe Animate. So I'm like, I am right at home here. I love, love, love Flash. I wonder if I can dig up some of my old Flash animations someday because they were so, so dumb. Joe, yeah, I'd love to make some references. I don't know what, uh, the music's already like pretty tight, so I'm not going to sneak in any music references, I don't think, but uh, definitely sneak something in the background or, or something in the dialogue. I don't know. Down, just hang his guitar super low. Yeah. I, I think I will. I might do the behind the head for the up. I think that's fun. Triple neck guitar for the secret. That's a good idea. That's very good. Okay, so we're going to kind of make two positions for him. The guitar and the hands. Going to rotate forward a little bit during this animation. And the elbows are just going to move a little bit for that. Okay. And the head, maybe it kind of bends forward a little bit. Put a secret song that he plays Megalovania. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> and I think his body just kind of oscillates up and down. It doesn't need to, to move. So there's his forward animation. And I'm even thinking this is quicker than 20 frames. I think this is just going to be like... 14 frames? Okay. 
Octavix, this is Adobe Animate. And then the last thing I want to do, you notice he seems, uh, and this is silly, he seems robotic. Every piece is moving at once, and I know he's a literal robot, but uh, I, I don't want it to all feel like it's moving at once. So here's what we're going to do. Check this out. I'm going to take some parts, some pieces of him, and make them move differently than other pieces. Uh, Barry, Adobe Anime is 10 bucks a month. Or uh, I think 60 bucks a month for the whole Adobe suite, which I do recommend. It's amazing. Photoshop is great. Everything's great. Gosh, tips. And I have, I have a very wide ranging set of very specific skills. <laughs> I think his head's going to kind of follow a little bit. Let's see how we like that. There you go. Now you can see his head's kind of out of sync with the rest of his body, and that feels better. Let's make the guitar, let's say, one frame behind the body. Oh, and the hands have to go with the guitar. There we go. That's moving. Are we missing a hand somewhere? Oh, why don't we have a hand on the first frame? What's happening? Left hand. There we go. We're still missing a hand on a frame. Where is it? Second frame? What happened to you? There we go. Okay. Oh, make him do guitar moves with his right hand. You're right. His his right hand should be doing guitar stuff. Oh, he's playing, so his hands need to be moving. I'm a fool. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I thinking here? The robot is playing guitar, and his hands need to be moving. Thank you, somebody, for pointing that out. Bandy Whistle, how many layers did I use? This one has, uh, looks like 10 layers or 12. Okay, so let's make his hands do some guitar stuff, right? doesn't look great. Maybe it's not going to uh, do that quite as much. Maybe we'll just move around a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that was a little, <laughs> there was a little too much stroking of the guitar there for me. <laughs> okay, the right hand's going to be moving a lot more. Frets and str I know, I need to put some frets on there. Right now, it's a fretless, stringless guitar. <laughs> I need to redraw that. A guitar strap around the torso? He doesn't need a guitar strap. It's just floating. And I didn't want to draw one. <laughs> I want to get the angle of the thumb movement right. So I'm trying to think of what... Yeah, okay. I have, to, I, I have to, like, mentally look at my hands sometimes when I'm drawing these things. Hey, that's pretty good. Am I going to make him talk mid-song? I don't think so. I don't think I'll do any, like, type bars, little man, or anything. 
He screams in the first song, though. They're screaming. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's draw in the lightning now. This is this is a part I had a lot of fun with last time. Uh, so let me put. We're going to draw lightning for his neck and his right arm, I think. Very nice. <laughs> oh, thanks, shall we? Yeah, Logan, that's actually pretty much the technique we're using on this song. It basically is a bass slap. Okay, so we're going to draw lightning in. Oh, not that far, though. I think I was doing about five or six things of lightning. Now you'll notice I can still kind of see the last frame on it. That is something called onion skinning. And it's really helpful in animation when you're trying to keep things in the same general place. I should give him a pick. Yes, the pick in my profile picture. This song is actually played without a pick entirely. This is the one song that doesn't have a pick in it. Um, but the final song, the secret final boss song, does use a pick. So uh, I will give him the longest solo ever pick in that one. And you can see I'm just drawing lightning for each frame. So it's a little bit different each time because I... There's no way I can draw the same lines twice. Just a couple more. We'll get lazy with these last two. There it is. So now we have lightning. Oops. There we go. And that's how I do that. Is it going to be 32-bit or just 64? I will i don't really understand the implications of exporting in 32-bit yet, so when I get to that point, I'm going to release it in as many forms as I possibly can. Somebody talked about releasing it on some site that does Flash animations on it too, so you can play it online without having to download it. I will if I can. Is he a cone or a cylinder? It's... Uh, it's a cylinder. It's like a, a tapered cylinder. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> I do like your drawings. Thank you. This is what I was doing right before stream. I was frantically drawing lightning on this dude. Ah, why can't I zoom in? Sometimes it lets me zoom in and sometimes it doesn't. There we go. I might uh, change this so he has kind of a port on the side of his arm here for the lightning to come out. It's like a toilet paper. <laughs> I'm just drawing with my mouse, which is why it looks terrible. How many covers can a song have? A whole bunch, Lionel. As many, as many as people want to make. I don't know. Okay, there's that. And there's a, there's a really cool... Check this out. Boop, now it glows. I have to see if that'll actually work in-game. I don't know. Okay, 
Okay, we just have a bit more lightning to draw. And then we have his right animation done. And I'll do the rest on my time. Y'all don't need to watch this. What are you talking about, Elias? <laughs> this looks terrible. <laughs> it's not smooth at all. <laughs> I drew, uh, I drew him uh, first on Procreate on an iPad, and then I, just to like sketch it out, uh, I'll show you my initial sketch of him. And then I redid him with a mouse in Illustrator, actually. Oh, that's a weird one. Cool. Yeah, this is awesome, Commenter Chi. This is fantastic. I love it. <laughs> so, my initial sketch of Phase 4... Um, actually looked like this. This was the very first one I tried. Uh, so you can see he still had physical arms here. And he didn't have the lightning connecting him yet. Uh, and he was kind of a bit taller. I had a little bit of, like, Slender Man in mind. <laughs> okay, Tercero, just for you. Hey there, Kuniko-chan. Aishiteru. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, and then I... This was kind of what I had in mind. This was something I found on ArtStation as a little bit of inspiration. And then here's the actual final sketch I did of him. Uh, as his new design with the lightning and stuff. And then finally I redrew him with a guitar. And then I redid it in Illustrator so it's nice and clean. Aw, that's nice, dear Sarah. There we go. I can do his other elbow later. So, that's what I have in mind. Uh, will there be any cutscenes? Yeah, totally. Uh, so I, I actually have a lot of animation experience um, at work. I do motion graphics and graphic design for uh, our commercials and stuff for advertising. And so I'm really comfortable animating stuff. I'll probably do that in After Effects rather than in Animate, as I, I prefer to do like full-scale animation in After Effects, but I'll still do all the initial drawings in Illustrator and then Animate. Uh, can I draw a minus gen bot? Maybe later. Uh, curiosity, yeah, totally. I will I will absolutely put the AUG files out as soon as I finish the, um, as soon as I finish the, the arrangements for the music, which is really, really close. So like next two weeks, I'll have the AUG files out so everybody can play with them. I'm still figuring out the balance of like how loud to make the files because when I actually pull them into the game, it feels like out of balance. So I got to play with that. Uh, Jackson Mendoza. Yeah, we could just hang out now. Let me put on, uh, let me just put on some Spotify music and we'll, we'll chill. Um, Jackson Mendoza asks, how did I start playing guitar? So I, um, uh, Let me just put on a Stream Beats album. Okay. So, uh, for the first, like, 12 years of my life, I had no real interest in playing guitar or in really playing much music at all. Um, I was a programmer. I was really, really into programming. I learned how to program BASIC and HTML and JavaScript and stuff. Uh, and I had no interest in playing guitar. My dad had a Fender Strat sitting right there in the closet. And he's like, hey, you should you should play guitar. Why don't you play guitar? That'd be cool. And I was like, nah, guitar's lame. I don't like it. And uh, and I just worked on programming and I was really into game design and stuff. And it's funny, at 12, I picked up uh, this beaten up old guitar that sat in my grandma's basement and started playing that. Uh, and my dad's like, really? We have a Fender guitar in the closet and this is what you pick up? Fine. Uh, so I, I, I played that for a while. Eventually I got a Squire Strat. Uh, and I've just been playing nonstop ever since. I practiced uh, hours every day, probably five to six hours a day from the age of, I mean, 12 to like 20, I'd say. Um, so that's, uh, that's my story. I don't know. I've been posting YouTube videos since I was 15. So you can see, uh, you, you can literally watch me like suck less at guitar as time goes on. 
uh, if you if you go through my YouTube channel. So that's fun. Natalie, you should absolutely learn guitar. It's a lot of fun. Curiosity, thank you. That is valuable information. Uh, I gotta I gotta play with that. I gotta look at what the other what the actual game music is leveled at and try to like match that. I think that'll help. I should do hand slide animation and guitar rotation at the beginning of every animation to kind of like fade between them. Yeah, I gotta I gotta figure out the math on that. Um, I kind of like him being a little more spastic, but I am gonna try something like that. Uh, SPRV gamer. Octavius, I'm sorry. I don't speak Spanish yet. I'm gonna learn though. Yeah, Rusnity, you should you should get a guitar. That'd be awesome. I hope you do. How did I practice guitar when I first started out? Uh, I learned songs that I liked. The first songs I learned on guitar, uh, the very first song I learned on guitar was the um, uh, the theme song to uh, Secret of Monkey Island, which is a really, really good classic uh, adventure game. Uh, Santiago, I, I am making a mod. <laughs> You should watch the rest of the stream. I am making a mod. Uh, what programming language am I using for my mod? Uh, so mods are made in uh, Hacks, H-A-X-E, which is the language that Friday Night Funkin's written in. And then mod charts, which are what makes uh, the actual arrows move differently and stuff, are written in a language called Lua, L-U-A. Uh, would I want to add this mod to a Roblox Friday Night Funkin remake? Uh, I, I don't think I will have time for that, but if somebody wants to, that'd be cool. Santiago, no, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> uh, Battle Trap, do I have text box art for dialogue? People are asking about the dialogue. I'm doing fully animated cutscenes between, I think, uh, with voice and everything. So, um, do you want to play around and try to make a voice for Gentbot real quick? Let's do that. Let me save this. Let's hop back to Pro Tools. Let's try to make a, a voice for, for a bot here. This will be fun. Thanks, Santiago. Will I play a song with Rich Odd? I would love to. I would really love to. Uh, I was thinking, when, when week eight comes out, I'm absolutely going to reach out to uh, all the other awesome video game metal guys and, and do some stuff. I think that'll be fun. Natalie, you should. Uh, let's do... Oh, what did I do? Okay. So. I'm feeling... Let's just get, like, audio to play with. Or actually, here's what we can do. Um... I'm going to turn on my voice through here, and I'm going to turn it off in OBS. Okay, so now you should only be able to hear me through Pro Tools, right? I think so. It's the case. Yes. Okay. So, there's a little delay, which is messing with my head. All right. Any plans to cover by NB or Valentine? I definitely want to do by NB. Uh, Valentine's cool, but there's, like, nothing for me to do on guitar on that one. Uh, so probably by NB, absolutely. So let's get like a weird vocal effect on here. Uh, I'm going to start with a couple effects that I use. Okay, so this is the first one. This is the one we use to make Pico's voice. Go Pico, yeah, yeah, go Pico, ah. So this is Pico's voice here. Alright, Tessero, I'll see ya. Uh, give his voice some amp crackle? Yeah, maybe. Uh, so... So I don't want to go full Pico. Maybe a little bit of Pico here? I think that's pretty good. Hey! Hello! Ah! Uh, I think this is a good start. Now this one... Let's just talk about what this one does. This lets me pitch shift things so I can shift the pitch down, make it sound really low, or I can shift the pitch up high. Okay. Formant is kind of the, 
This is like the bigness of the voice. I can make it sound really deep. Or really tiny. Um, and when you link them together, they, they make a lot more sense. So here's like a low voice. This is like, uh, you say the ocean's rising like I give a shit. This is the Bo Burnham voice here. And then I can shift it up and, and it almost kind of becomes uh, like a more female voice. This is interesting. So there's a lot of fun stuff in here we can play with. Uh, but there's other effects we can do too. This is the uh, quantization setting. Uh, it's like an auto-tune. It's not very effective, I don't think. But this one's cool. This one's called Robot. And it just keeps it on one note no matter what I say. So that's cool. <laughs> so what I'm thinking, thinking is we'll mix in a little bit of that. With a lot of the Pico voice. And... Hey! Hey! So I'm just gonna record... I'm just going to record without it for a second, just so I can not go crazy, because there's a huge delay in it. Uh, and we'll just, like, say some stupid stuff. I don't know. Hey there! My name's Gentbot. Do you like my music? You don't? Hey there, my name's Gentbot. Do you like my music? You don't. Hey there, my name's Gentbot. Do you like my music? You don't. Hey there, my name's Gentbot. Do you like my music? You don't. Hey there, my name's Gentbot. Do you like my music? You don't. Hey there, my name's Gentbot. Do you like my music? You don't. Hey there, my name's Gentbot. Do you like my music? You don't. Alright, I think this is pretty good. We can, uh... There's also this one. No, it's not what I want. Here. Uh, hey! Hey there! Hey! Hello! Hi! How are you today? What's your favorite Meshuga album? It sounds like a Netflix original DreamWorks show. What does that mean, Melvin? Give him a GLaDOS voice? We can do GLaDOS voice, hang on. So here's GLaDOS voice. Um... All you have to do is make it stick to a major scale. Check one, two. And we can transpose it up a bit. Oh, hi there. I didn't hear what you're saying because I'm a potato. I actually thought about using... Okay, so let's talk about the GLaDOS voice. Um, because it's a very specific type of autotune. It's not just like straight T-Pain autotune. Because that wouldn't work. Because uh, that, that sounds that sounds like this. Hey there, my name's Genpot. Do you like my music? You don't. And you can hear the steps between the... the <laughs> I'm still having it on. You can hear the steps between those notes and it doesn't feel good. So, um, hey Super Genesis, what's up? Still alive. Exactly. Uh, so what they did for GLaDOS's voice, and I have to imagine someone did this by hand, is they went in to each note, and they pitch corrected it by hand. Check this out. Hey there, my name's Gentbot. Do you like my music? Hey there. Hey there, my name's... Hey there, my name's Gentbot. Do you like my music? And they actually picked a note for each word that she said. It's really amazing. So we would do like, um,
Hey there. Hey there. My Hey there. My name's Hey there, my name's Gentplot. So you can see it's getting more GLaDOS-y? Hey there, my name's Gentplot. Do you like my music? Hey. Hey there, my name's Gentplot. Do you like my music? Maybe we go that route. Hey there, my name's Gentplot. Do you like my music? Hey there, my name's Gentplot. Do you like my music? Hey there, my name's Gentplot. Do you like my music? Hey there, my name's Gentplot. Do you like my music? Hey there, my name's Gentplot. Do you like my music? Hey there, my name's Gentplot. Do you like my music? Hey there, my name's Gentplot. Do you like my music? Hey there, my name's Gentplot. Do you like my music? Hey there, my name's Gentplot. Do you like my music? Hey there, my name's Gentplot. Do you like my music? Hey there, my name's Gentplot. Do you like my music? Hey there, my name's Gentplot. Do you like my music? Hey there, my name's Gentplot. Let's see if we like that better than the other one. Hey there, my name's Gentplot. Do you like my music? Hey there, my name's Genplot. Do you like my music? I don't know. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> hey, listen. Watch out! I actually like him better without... I think I like just, like, straight talking. I, I don't need the auto-tune effect in there. <laughs> I think this is a good voice. I like this. I think this is great. Yeah. Whoa. This is a funny voice, and I like playing with it, okay? Make a cooler voice for the final enemy. Yeah, I think for the final enemy, he's going he's gonna to have a lot deeper sounding voice. Like, we'll put an extra one on top of this. And we'll, and we'll pitch it down here. I don't know. We'll play with the voice for the final one. I, I think I think it's gonna be good. Team Jetbot's blasting off again. Uh, reach out to Peter Cullen for the final boss. Autobots. <laughs> Samuel Hayden, yes. His voice is so good. Does Peter Cullen voice Samuel Hayden? No, he doesn't, right? He would have been a good choice. Okay, so we're going to have little Alter Boy on and the frequency shift. And that's his voice. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. Cool. All right. So I feel... Hang on. I can't. I can't do that anymore. Okay. So that was a lot of fun. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, I will post all four... Uh, final-ish versions of the song in the Discord if you want to hang out. And uh, if you want to listen to them. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. This was an absolute blast. And uh, and we will be right back here. We'll be back here on Saturday morning uh, for this week's cover. I'm really excited about this one. This one's a really cool collab. Uh, and then we'll be back here next Thursday night for another stream. I will post the vo I will post the vocal thing. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> well, will I make a minus mod? I gotta finish the real mod first, Melvin. <laughs> Thanks, Super Genesis. Natalie, this is an app called Pro Tools. Puddles, thank you so much. You rock. <laughs> I hope you get some good sleep. Thank you all so much. You're absolutely fantastic. Alan, you're gonna watch some covers. Sounds good. 
You built a Lego set, Joshua? That sounds relaxing. That sounds awesome. All right. You guys are amazing. Uh, thank you especially to Puddles. Uh, and as always to Norberto and Tercero, my awesome mods. And Brian stopped by earlier. You guys are all awesome. Love you very much, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.